Okay, well, this is not the time to be dicking around. He, um... He definitely is a lot faster than me. Like, look at those arms. He's got amazing reach. So I probably shouldn't try to break these boxes anymore. I don't know what's inside of them, but it's probably nothing good. Nothing worth breaking. But I really want to break them, though. Nah, don't do it, man. They're probably just here to, um... The ooh! 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 Ah! Just need him to turn the other way. Turn the other way. There, there we go. Keep going that way. And we'll make a break for it now. Those boxes probably had nothing in them. They were just there for, for cover, probably. God, you're ugly. You okay, man? God damn. We should go. I never learned. Those <laughs> There's not gonna be items in this game, dude. Don't you know that? You should know that by now. Just move. Okay. Come on, man. Let's go. It's all right. I'm here. Nothing is going to get you. You have to stay with me. There's no other way. He's here! Ruvik, what do you want with me? You. I'm just making sure you're doing your job. Just like me, I doubt they want damaged goods. Back up! He's coming with me! Oh. I hope so. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. I... Your people aren't the only ones counting on this boy. You need him to get out. As do I. We're all their pawns. Eventual victims. They killed me. They ripped me apart and took what they needed. I will destroy what they wish to control. Rubik? Stop it! Let him go! He is my vessel. I am in control. I sense a conflict of interest. Just what was your mission exactly? Do you think their all prying eyes can't see in here? They've been watching you, kid. What are you doing, kid? You are to bring the boy back to us. No! I can't! If I bring Leslie out, Ruvik comes with him. We don't know what he's capable of. I... I can't let that happen. in a position to make decisions like this. This is not acceptable behavior. You will bring us back that boy. Run all you want, kid. You can't escape. Like everyone else that 
it crosses us, we will hunt you down. Come back, kid. You have a job to do. Hell no, dude. Oh my god, I have so... So much to talk about. <laughs> Shit. No. Stop. Get away from me. Is that my father? Oh, is that guy my dad? His face all of a sudden started showing up. Could it be the face of my father? Who used to run the church? I mean, thinking about the way he uh, rose out of the ground right in front of the... Um, the what is it? The pedestal? Podium. Yeah. Have you acting on your own? You will follow us. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> I did not realize that shadow became a real thing. Okay, let's just focus on doing this first. Whoa, okay. Oh, whoop! Okay. Uh, this way. Okay. Where are you coming from now? Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. I can't trust you! Not like this! No. She's... she's coming with us. She's my responsibility. Look, Seb, we need to talk. You're getting out of control. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. We can continue the experiments. There are some things here that are to remain in the dark. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. A little hasty with that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? What I have to do. Oh, hype. Oh, man. Okay, I'm looking forward to the next DLC for sure. Oh, that's pretty awesome. You can now choose Kuroyami mode when selecting a new game. <laughs> <laughs> 19 deaths in a what is this a three hour DLC? Fuck, oh, that's embarrassing. Anyway, that was pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so the way Mr. Boss Man rose up out of the ground right in front of the podium and started having a face right at that moment makes me think that Julie had a very strong relationship to whoever the hell was the leader of that cult. You gotta keep in mind that the events of this DLC and the events of the main game are happening within the STEM system. Now, how could her boss from the outside, who I'm sure isn't connected to the STEM right now, show up in this game with a face? It doesn't make any sense. I'm guessing the representative of Mobius that's been communicating with us is just a figment of Julie's imagination and that he is a symbolic of an authority figure that she has a problem with. Probably the authority figures of the church that her family belongs to. Why else would their faces be blurred out? You know, maybe the blurred face of her Mobius boss is actually just some kind of repressed memory. The reason why I think she might be really close to whoever the heck the church representative was, was that he kept on calling her a kid, and in the main game when we found her missing person poster, it said that she goes by the nickname Kid. I don't know, it's, it's just a thought. Just a thought. And Ruvik ended up being in possession of Leslie's body, at least inside the, um, the stem system. That's 
one of my questions answered. Now I just need to know if, um, he made it out of the stem system. Ruvik, I mean. If Ruvik made it out of the stem system, then... Oh, man. Anyway, enough rambling. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I really liked that. What else was there? Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Like, I was always curious about whether Ruvik was in control of Leslie's body during the events of the Evil Within, and turns out, um, at least by the time that Kidman and Leslie reached the church, he was able to control Leslie's body. I don't know whether or not Ruvik made it out of the stem system with Leslie's body. We'll find out maybe later. And hopefully we'll find out if Sebastian actually makes it back to the real world. And we'll hopefully we'll find out what exactly was going on when um Kidman saved his life at the end of The Evil Within. Yeah. Cool. Well, hope you guys like this. I really did. Um, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Later.